it is day four of the Cape to Cape and I am heading from um, Garden Up um, to Hamlin Bay so yeah yeah I know what you're thinking it's like 38 k isn't it yep um, so I'm leaving early which is a killer because I had the lovely hotel room I was gonna get up my thoughts were I'd get up go down to the cafe have something to eat nice coffee but logistically um, it's never gonna happen because I need to um, get moving get some distance done so I thought I'd set off early it's nice walking at night and it's cool so all those hours I was sleeping I'm gonna be walking so we shall see I will um, update you when it gets light bye bye I'll just have a video it's dark but I'll video this anyway south of um, uh, Nardabup whatever you call it um, heading down towards Redgate there is a set of steps that seem to go on and on and on so if you come in south to north you're going to suffer if you're going <coughs> north to south again make sure you've got some hiking poles because they'll save your knees but this I think I'm going down to the pits of hell I've been going for a good five minutes and it just goes on and on and that off ring is probably indicating I'm coming to the end um, maybe we shall see but anyway massive set of stairs right bottom of the stairs you come to um, uh, the Frank Moritz Bridge apologies if I said that wrong I read about this guy I think if he was the same guy uh, he had quite an incredible life Anyway, here's a bridge. Um, there's a seat to prepare you for the climb up or to put your knees back in place. Um, but thank you, Frank. I don't know what's down there. I think this probably is the pits of hell. Across this. My average time was going quite well and then I hit those stairs. Which load limit hasn't met me right onwards. Okay, so it's um, what time is it? Quarter past six in the morning, sun is about to pop up. Um, I, I'll show you where I am, it's easier. So I'm here, Grunters up there. I'm at this sort of inlet thing down here. It's very flat sea, a bit of a sea mist, I don't know if you can see that. It's very cool. Uh, we are heading south still, it's just uh, starting to get light. Going okay. I've got another 3.2 k's to um, Redgate Beach. Yeah, 3.2 to Redgate Beach. I know I keep stopping, but look at this beach. Sea mist out. Sit flat seas. Nobody. Not a soul. Uh, something to remember when I'm at work on a Monday morning. Excellent. Anyway, that begin the uh, first sort of serious beach walking. Thank God for poles. You can see that just there.
playing with his food. Catch me at a moment of eating a Mars bar. This is uh, Redgate Beach. Uh, just done a couple of k's of sand walking, which isn't too bad because it's flat. It's annoying, monotonous, but um, I prefer it to the up and down cliff, cliff faces. Anyway, um, Redgate Beach, next place they're heading to is. Bob's Hollow, pardon the pun, whatever that Bob's Hollow is, we shall head there now, onwards. So that's Conto's beach down there. So we've just left Conto's beach off the road there. And this is now taking us up towards Conto's camp. And um, there's another camp down there, Point Road or something it's called. We shall see, but onwards. I was marching down that road and um, I missed, I missed all this. Um, I don't know why, but I missed it. Anyway, you're supposed to turn right down this bit. Not up to the camp. If you carry on up there, turn right. It's into the campground. Uh, follow the track if you go this way. <gasps> Where's that part in the trail? So Contos, obviously, what the sign says. And the trail then goes inland from here. Uh, I'm going to head up to Point, something, Point Road, campground. I'm going to go ahead there instead, have something to eat. Onwards. Okay, this is Long Point, water. Water tank, toilet. Toilets are pretty good. Little bogan friends. Right. This is Long Point. Right, this is Long Point. When I rocked up, it was full. Uh, every camp site here was full of utes with kids. Chaos. Um, thank God I didn't stay here tonight. 
because I haven't got any sleep. Having said that, when I did rock up, I got offered food and water by people, and they're very lovely. Um, which is always nice. So good for them. All right, as you can see from my fantastic list. Um, done Bob's Hollow, Camp Nose, Camp Band. All right, Wayne Up Beach is next at 32.2 k's. Then Hamlin. So I've got Point Up Beach and Hamlin Beach. And then um, I'm going to try and get a cabin at Hamlin Bay tonight, but I won't stop long. And I will blast through there, get down to the lighthouse because I need to be on that coach at 3 o'clock to head back to Dunsborough. Anyway, this is um, just before I walk out of here. Um, that's from the 1st July 2024, bookings online. Alright, enough dicking around, let's go. Okay, about 9 kilometres from Boran Up Beach. Um, so I've been walking through the forest now for a good while. Um, pretty much, it's all like this. It's quiet shade from the trees um, birds signs of snakes but I haven't seen any um, so yeah it's a lovely change and um, it's firm underfoot so you can make some make some K's up uh, that's about it I'll catch you back at the beach you come round the uh, corner from the forest bit and you think I'll oh, gun it to the coast, and then here's a uh, big hill, sandy hill, just wanting to slow you down. Oh well, getting there. I'll come over the hill, heading down to the beach at Boron Up. I think that's Hamlin Bay over there. Uh, I'm quite tired now, um, but we should get to the beach and then. See what the beach is like. Okay. I believe this is Boron Up Beach. So, got to stagger my way down there and then march across the beach and try and end up over there before the kiosk closes because I need, I need a cold Coke. Anyway, let's get going. Onwards. Okay. See this shot a lot in the. Uh, Kick to cake videos. I don't know if you hear this, but um, I'm down at Up Beach. If you come down to the water's edge, where the car's been driving, it's like walking on a uh, footpath. It's um, solid. Um, don't even really need the sticks. It's just, uh, it's all compacted down. Uh, so it's quite easy at the moment. It might change, but if it does, I'll let you know. We're coming to the end of the beach. The drama with it is, is no matter how much you walk, it never seems to end. Uh, you never seem to get any closer. But uh, another 500 meters, um, and then we've got a cabin for the night. Up early, off the final section. Uh, see you in a bit.